Hi everybody. Today I'm going to be doing a video review of the first Sailor Moon Crystal puzzle. And this is the first 1000 piece puzzle. I bought mine from Amy Amy. It's a really awesome puzzle. Um, it took me maybe a week and a half to put together. It is 50 centimeters by 75 centimeters, so it's quite big. Here is the puzzle box. The side of the puzzle box has images in it of the actual puzzle, which is pretty cool. There's all the warnings and such on the side. And the back is just plain white. Inside the puzzle, you get something which is kind of unique. You actually get a package of puzzle glue and a little spreader tool. Now, when I was growing up, I used to do lots and lots of puzzles, and we always would do the glue. I hate the glue, and this is why I hate it. When you glue a puzzle, it makes it fold in like a U-shape. So... And it, and it actually destroys the puzzle to me. So I don't actually use puzzle glue anymore. Now I just frame my puzzles the way they are after I put them together. And it's much nicer, it's much safer for the puzzle. Makes it more collectible that way I feel. Because then you, if you want to, you can actually take it apart and put it back in the box later if you want to. So inside you also get this little order form in case you need to order a piece if it's missing or something. Luckily mine didn't miss a piece so hopefully nobody else's has to either because that's a Japanese <laughs> order form. So if you don't live in Japan it might be a little harder for you to get that missing piece that you're missing. But here is the puzzle. But as you can see there's a lot of black areas and a huge array of hair in this particular image. So that gave me quite a lot of problems for a little while. Uh, the moon part wasn't too bad. I think I put that together in a day. Um, Sailor Moon herself was a day. It didn't take very long at all. But the black areas was challenging. Uh, the pieces themselves, uh, they locked really tight. Not super, super tight, but they lock pretty good compared to a lot of cheaper puzzles I've put together before. And it holds really well in the frame. I've not had any issues with the pieces popping out of place inside the frame. Um, but all in all, I think this is a really satisfying purchase. I think this puzzle goes for around $25, $30, somewhere in there. That's how much I paid for mine, which is a lot for a puzzle. And my parents think I'm crazy because <laughs> I took this over on Thanksgiving to put together at their house. I didn't get it finished on Thanksgiving, but I brought it home inside the frame with what I put together and then put, the, put together the rest of it at home. But uh, when I told them how much I paid for it, they ever thought I was crazy. But I love the image. I think a framed puzzle is one of the prettiest pieces of art you can probably hang in your house. My personal opinion, <laughs> I love puzzles a lot. I actually purchased the next 1000 piece one that came out. I didn't get the 100 piece ones that are out or the 300 that are coming out. Um, 300 is a pretty good deal. If you can get a 300 piece puzzle and frame it, I think it would look really awesome. But I'm sticking with the 1000 piece. I like a challenge. And the 1,000 piece ones are a challenge in themselves. So I do recommend it. The price is high, yes. Don't go on eBay. I've seen this puzzle go for $80 on eBay. Don't go on eBay. <laughs> if you can find it on Amy Amy or JList, JList is a little high too, but it's still cheaper than eBay. So if you can find it, I do recommend getting it, especially if you love puzzles. I really like puzzles, so I hope they make more of these. But 
Oh, and another thing to think of is they are the exact same size as the G animation puzzles. So if you were collecting the G animation puzzles like I was, and you're sad they're not making any more, <laughs> at least anytime soon, that I when I asked them, uh, get these ones. It's a really nice alternative while you're waiting. And I really like the pieces on this one versus the G animation ones. I thought these ones were much better, so... Alright, well that is my review of the Sailor Moon Crystal 1000 piece puzzle. Definitely look forward to the next one. I definitely will have a review when I put the new one together, which I should be getting soon. But I probably won't rush out to put that one together just yet. I might save it for a special occasion. So, Alright, well thanks so much for watching. Definitely like, comment, subscribe for more. Alright, bye!